Hello, everybody, and welcome to the final episode of Heart Town Hunters. Woo! Oh, Heart Town Hunters. This has been Woo! a wild ride of a campaign. Uh, thank you all for being patient with us as we figure out when we were going to get to the uh, the final episode. We appreciate the support. As always, if you're watching on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for future Manapod episodes. And if you're watching us, if you're joining us on Twitch, thank you for being here for the for the premiere. Um, before we get started, before we get started, I would like to give a quick word of thank you to all of my amazing players, Emma, Parker, Adam. Uh, it has been this has been one of my favorite games I have ever had the opportunity to GM for and to like play in. I've had such a great time getting to know you all and, and to play with you, and I hope that we can, whether it's a continuation of this or if it's a different kind of game in the future, I hope that we get the chance to do something together again, uh, and whether it's in the near future or sometime down the Hell road. Hell yeah. Agreed. I'd also like to thank oh, all of the fans for the support. Uh, Bez is in the chat right now. Oh, Bez, gosh. dropping animatics on Twitter. This shit is so fucking cool. That blew my mind. There's another one. Bez released another one today featuring what? Kokoro. It's so, yes. so good. So yes, please, please pause this. If you're watching on YouTube, go find the animatics on Twitter <laughs> and then come back and join us for the finale. But... I need we need to get started. We need to get we need to get the finale on the road. And so let us do just that. When last we saw our heroes, Kay had taken the vacant position of Devil King in the Demon Realm. Kokoro and Nozomi had made their way back to Heart Town, and everyone kind of went their separate ways and improved not improved. Everyone kind of resumed their lives where they left off. The story picks up three months later. It's a summer day. Spring has uh, spring has faded. You hear the uh, the the chirping of the cicadas on the trees. We 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 we. It's super hot. All of the kids in the schools are now able to wear their short sleeves, and they don't have to wear their jackets. Um, it has been uh, uh, not necessarily an uneventful three months, but definitely no devil king excursions, no world ending threats. <laughs> Uh, maybe the off monster here and there, but uh, we bring we 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 the camera pulls in on our way to school. You see a young Shotaro, fully awake. His hair's combed. Uh, he's actually running to school, and uh, that's a character arc. <laughs> makes it right on time. When he walks into the classroom, he sees the usual players. He sees Goro talking with uh, the foreign exchange boy, Arnold. He sees the four popular girls kind of hanging out in the in, in the corner, in their little corner talking. And the class president sitting at the front of the, of the classroom in her usual prim, proper attire, like perfect posture, ready for class to begin. The teacher is nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found whatsoever. The first person... Business as usual. <laughs> business as usual. The first of our players to enter is Nozomi. Nozomi, can you exp uh, can you describe what you look like three months into the future? Yeah, um, Nozomi is now walking into the class a bit more confident than maybe she had in the past. Um, while she was confident before, she didn't really want to interact with with other people in the class except for like. Kay and Kokoro, and maybe a couple others. Um, but as she walks in this time, she kind of looks around and um, says hi to a few more people than she normally would. Um, so she's getting more comfortable with this group. And she's wearing a uh, the same hoodie with the hood that has like the little bear ears on the top sewn in. Um, and the hood is down. And she's wearing a, uh, like her normal school uniform uh, underneath that. And she's holding a, uh, 
like a book bag, a book bag slung over her shoulder. Um, she just walks in, finds Kokoro, um, if Kokoro is there, or looks for Kokoro, and then uh, if she is there, she'll say hi and take a seat. It's funny you should mention Kokoro because not far behind. Nozomi, Kokoro walks into class. Kokoro, can you describe what three months into the future Kokoro looks like? Three months in the future Kokoro uh, looks a little different, I would say. Uh, I think she cut her long hair. It's now uh, very much uh, short. And, okay. Uh, still has some of those uh, neon green um, uh, tips. Um she is wearing, uh, of course, she's not wearing the jacket as part of the summer uh, uniform. Uh, and instead, her short sleeve school uniform, which shows off proudly uh, her array of scales on her forearm. She comes in, you know, chest puffed out, uh, ready for the day, greeting everyone with a, What's up? Hey, good to see ya. <laughs> The four popular girls in the back of the room. At the beginning of this, at the beginning of this, at the school year, they might have looked at Kokoro with kind of disdain and and disgust. But it's been three months, Kokoro. You uh, like you 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 you've definitely had a uh, you definitely. There's been a change in a lot of people's perceptions. And when you walk in, the girls just kind of give a nice little polite wave and nod. They don't say anything bad. They don't mutter anything mean under their breaths. They just are like, good morning, Kokoro. And then they just get back to their conversation. <laughs> but there, Kokoro, you uh, see Nozomi looking for you. Hey, Nozomi. Oh. Kokoro. What's up? <laughs> Gives her a hug. Mm, deep hug. <laughs> um, and then I think Nozomi looks at, um, looks at Kokoro and she whispers something. Uh, in her ear, and she says, I, I think I'm gonna ask him out. Ask who? Shotaro. Finally. <laughs> it's, what has it been? Like, <laughs> three months? Um, and then she'll just kind of like turn around, go back to her seat, say, I'll, I'll text you about it. Um, okay. <laughs> As Love. you can... <laughs> As you get to, as you go to your seats, uh, Ayaka comes and sits down next to Kokoro and says, "Oh, secrets? What's going on over here?" <laughs> Nothing. I'm not at liberty to say, but I bet Nozomi can tell you uh, later. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. I bet. <laughs> she does a Ayaka does a little like Frodo thing. All right, then keep your secrets. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. While you're all having this conversation, uh, Goro does his usual rude interrupt and like slides into frame. And he's like, everybody, everything is confirmed. We are good to go. We are heading to the beach tomorrow afternoon. I got us a nice little plot on the beach over there outside of, on the outskirts of town. We've got a little, uh, I'm going to bring a little grill. We can make some barbecue out there. It's going to be great. We're all in, correct? He points to all of you. Kokoro, you're in? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Way to go. Points to Ayaka. Ayaka's kind of like, oh my god, brother, you're so annoying. Yes, I'm in. Points to Nozomi. Nozomi, are you in? She turns around. She looks at Shotaro and just gives a little wave. And then she turns back and says, I'm in. Yeah. All right. Oh, that reminds me. Shotaro, there's going to be an extra spot like uh, w w with, with everyone who's coming. Are you going to be there too? And Shotaro kind of turns around, his hair combed, and he's not hes not sleepy, he's not yawning, he's fully alert. He's like, uh, yeah, if you guys will have me, uh, I, I'd love to join. And Goro's, yes, we've got it! Also, don't for, I got a couple more invites to hand out. And so he kind of like gingerly walks over to Arnold, who's, uh, you guys, if you guys don't even have to roll anything, you can just hear. Arnold's Japanese has greatly improved in these last three months. Yeah! Go, Arnold! That character growth. <laughs> Goro, says, Goro says to Arnold, Hey, Arnold, we're all going to the beach tomorrow. I, I, we'd love to have you join us. And Arnold says, in the first voice reveal of the campaign, That sounds incredible, man. I'm totally down to go. <laughs> I love wonderful. him. Uh, wonderful, yes! <laughs> Uh, and then, like, finally you see Goro uh, kind of walk over to Class President Yuzu and says, uh, Hey, Class Prez, you've, you've 
well, you know, w w a couple of us are planning on going to the beach tomorrow, and you put in a lot of work. You've done a lot of, uh, you, you put in a lot of work this year. It looks like you can, uh, with us, like, going on summer break, uh, this being the last day before summer break, uh, I think it's only fair that you, uh, that you come and relax with us. You know, come on. And she just kind of says, well, I was planning on getting a head start on my summer homework. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 um, I think Nozomi kind of not shouts, but like she raises her voice a little bit toward Yuzu and just says, Yuzu, you should come. You can start on your homework the next day. Yuzu kind of yeah, turns around, blushes a little bit. What was you going to say, Kokoro? We're a class. We're in this together. You wouldn't want to have you miss out. She says, uh, she kind of pushes up her, her glasses and has a little like anime like glare in them with a little sparkle. Well, there is a new bathing suit that I've been excited to try out and, uh, and debut. Very well. I shall accompany you all. All right, fancy girl. I'll see you there. It's a bona fide party, Goro says. Yes. All right, everybody. I'll text you all the details. Be there or be square. As he does like finger guns walking backwards and he like trips over a book <laughs> bag. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's at this point that uh, Kokoro and Nozomi you all feel this intense uh, spiritual presence it dings and rings loudly in your head as if a, a, a giant or insanely powerful demon has just approached and in your heads you hear the familiar voice of Crane Big developments have happened. Meet me on the roof ASAP. Look at Kokoro. Did you hear that? Yeah. Shall we, uh... Yeah. Oh, uh, um, yes, looking around to see if the teacher is still here. Uh, but they, you see Ayaka and Gor... Uh, no, Ayaka and Shotaro, they kind of, like, perk up and they're like, Hey, is... Is everything okay? Like... I think so. Um, we just... We'll be back, though? Yeah. Just gotta take care of something. You see, Ayaka just say, Okay, just just be careful, okay? As she goes and grabs her hand. Kokoro. Just, just be careful, okay? And I always careful. She kind of gives, like, her cheeks get super, super <laughs> red as uh, you guys make your way out of the classroom and up to the roof. Okay. On the, All right. What does Crane want? On the rooftop, you see what appears to be a a giant whooping crane. As he like kind of goes down, and he just he says in in the bird form, too conspicuous. Uh, a little bit. I mean, uh, are you visible to everyone else? Oh, that's a thing I have to worry about now, huh? Okay. You see, like, uh, you see all of a sudden, the crane forms into the shape of a man. The same cool-looking bar-owning hipster that you met three months ago. He stands there and he says, uh, wow, it's, it's been a while. You guys look great, if you don't mind me saying, of course. <laughs> Shucks. You don't look too bad yourself. Uh... Hey, doing, uh, doing good. So, I know it's been kind of an uneventful three months, so to speak. And part of the reason that of that being, the portal between the demon realm and and the human realm has been sealed off. But I still have my ways of getting information uh, in and out of the the demon realm. And there's some big, big news coming. What kind of news? Well, in a few short hours, they're going to be reopening the portals again. Like why? Like in a in a worrisome way, or like in a like a good way? Well, it remains to be seen. The thing is, the 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 four devil kings, half of them are now human hybrids, so they think that it's only fair that the humans hybrids that are on the demon uh, the devil king council now should have reign to and from the human world 
they can live out their uh, lives here and then and 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 see their loved ones here and then return to the demon realm when they when they see fit. But it's also going to be a little more policed this time. It's not going to be it's not going to be as as easy for malintented spirits to cross over. And especially with devil kings on this side of the of the portal now, there should be a little bit uh there should be a little bit easier policing things. Kokoro's going to look at Nozomi and with like a smile and be like, hmm, how many Devil Kings do we know who are uh, human hybrids? I can think of one. <laughs> Me too. It's like, yeah, yeah. He, uh, Crane just kind of like, uh, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to come and let you know that you might start seeing more spirits pop up here than you've seen in the past few months. But... The good news about that is, is they, they might not be so malintented. Or they could be lying to get their way through the portal. Who knows? But I just wanted to put you on alert, because I know the hunters haven't uh, have had pretty much only small fry these past few months. We could potentially see uh, something a little bit more disastrous happening in the near future. Just be on alert, all right? You got it. Thanks, Thanks for letting us know. No problem. Crane away! Whoop, 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 whoop. And he transforms into like the whooping crane again and literally just says whoop, 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 whoop and flies away. He just Zoidbergs his way out of there. Your unseen seal. Your unseen seal. Use it. <laughs> Later today. <laughs> earlier today, a giant <laughs> crane was seen flying through Heart Town. <laughs> Somebody's. Somebody is going to be posting a blurry photo online. It's going to go <laughs> viral. But that's all Crane had to say. Just dropped in to say hi, you know. Just drop in, just <laughs> drop some knowledge, and then just whoop, 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 dial flies away. Uh, I guess we have class right now. Yeah. Well, maybe we get to see Kay later. Hopefully. If they're going to open up the portals, he better show his ass. Cool. And Nizami will start to walk down toward class. And Kokoro will follow. When you walk back into class, you walk in at the same time as the teacher. You're coming in from the student entrance. He's coming in from the front entrance of the classroom. Uh, he's still got the same old teacher, his shirt halfway tucked in, coffee stains all over his shirt. Mm. Uh, good evening, uh, good, e good evening. Oh, no. Good day, everybody. Uh, well, as you know, it's the last day before summer vacation. I hope everybody has a good time. Uh, your homework is going to be assigned to you later on throughout the day through your other teachers. Just make sure you do it before you get back. Uh. Yuzu, you're up. And he just goes and lays... Lays back in his chair, kicks his feet up. Uh, Yuzu gives like a big sigh. <sighs> All right, everybody, open up your textbooks. The one to character pay. that's had no arc. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, class, open up your textbooks to pages 55. We're going to get at least one more day of learning in if I can help it. Uh... <laughs> She's the teacher. <laughs> the rest of the day goes by uh, pretty much uneventful uneventfully uh, as the bell rings for you all to go home goro kind of uh r rallies everybody one more time and you're just like all right everybody we're good for tomorrow we're good for tomorrow we're good for tomorrow we're good for tomorrow yep we're good for tomorrow see you there nice let's go and he like runs away like, he just like runs off into the distance <sighs> <laughs> he's my favorite <laughs> <laughs> Where does he get all that energy? I cause like I really don't know, but it's <laughs> never a dull moment at the house. I can imagine. <laughs> She's like, well, I have uh, some stuff I got to take care of, so I'll I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, totally. I can't wait. <laughs> all right, she goes in and gives you a hug, um, and it kind of lingers there for a little bit, and she go. Uh, She's like, all right, I'll 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 catch you tomorrow. Oh. Uh, yeah, catch catch you tomorrow. <laughs> and then, like, not nearly, not nearly as clumsily, a little bit more gracefully, kind of runs off in the same fashion as her brother. But like, <laughs> uh, <gosh. laughs> there it is. 
<laughs> as uh, um, as Nozomi is leaving as well, like Shotaro kind of like brushes past, and he's like, "Yeah, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow, huh?" Yeah. Oh, hey, wait up. Um, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I got to be honest, though, I didn't really take good notes in class today, so. Oh, um, I don't know. It's it's not about class. Um, I I was just wondering if maybe like, I don't know, tomorrow after the beach, if you wanted to grab ice cream or something. Uh, grab ice cream. Uh, sure. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be a hot day and everything. So yeah, I think it sh should be fine, I guess. Okay, cool. I'll see you then. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, should we also invite the group as well? Oh, um, I, I mean, I, um, we, uh, um, she looks at Kokoro. <laughs> For a guy who can read minds, he's not good at this. <laughs> the, the group's probably going to be busy doing their own thing, you know. Uh, oh, I, yeah. I heard it. Yeah. Um, yeah, oh, they, is there they a, uh... something... Is there an attack coming? Like, did you, is, is there, is it like, should we, should we all prepare then or something? No, 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 not like that. Um, I'll just, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Bye. <laughs> Kokoro is going to turn to Nozomi and just be like, how, how did you do that? I don't know. I just asked him. Figured the worst he can say is no, right? Yeah, that would be pretty bad. Um, <laughs> so you just ask? Yeah, I don't like, know. With like, with words? <laughs> I... okay, Have you not there... gone out on a date with Ayaka yet? Well, I... First of all, how dare you? Second of all, <laughs> I, no, I. Hmm. Okay, it's, we're oh, it's, we're gonna work on this. Okay, <laughs> it just it feels weird to put words on it because then I I don't know it's real I guess I don't know. Yeah, then it's real. I know, but no, it, oh god, oh. Uh, I'm walking home. If you want to join me, we can talk strategy. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's going to be torture. One uh, strategy meeting later. The uh, uh, Nozomi <laughs> and Kokoro. One strategy meeting later. <laughs> <laughs> Kokoro and Nozomi go their separate ways. Uh, we're going to focus in uh, and follow Nozomi home first. So, okay. now Zomi, when you get home, you notice that there's an extra pair of shoes at the door. Do I recognize these shoes? You don't necessarily recognize them. They're not ones that you see often, but they look like the shoes that belong to somebody who is has no idea what the current fashion sense is. Like, <laughs> definitely, like, old woman shoes. Sweet. Uh -huh. Um... So Nozomi kind of, she like slips off her shoes. She puts them uh, with the others and then she walks in the door. Mom, I'm home. Oh, Nozomi, we have a visitor for you today. It looks like your grandma decided to pay us a visit. Oh. But wait, really? And do I immediately see? My grandma, or well, so like you kind of come into the uh, into the room, so you have to walk a ways into like the kitchen area. But once you walk your way into the kitchen, you you can you can see her there. She'll be chilling with your mom. Okay, so she walks in. She's like, oh, oh, oh my gosh, grandma! And she like drops her bag, um, and runs over to her grandmother and gives her a big hug. So Nozomi's grandmother, uh, she's got like a really bit, like a, she's got a, a bit, like she's wearing like a shawl. She's wearing what appears to be like brown color, like brown colored cl clothing. Her hair is maybe like shoulder length, 
and it's uh, kind of it's it's more white, but mixed in with a little bit of black here and there. And as uh, uh, as Nozomi approaches, she says, "Oh my, Nozomi, you've grown so much. Come and give Granny a hug." Uh, and she goes, "Grandma, it's good to see you." Big, big, tight hug. And she's like, "Oh, you've gotten strong in these past few years. It's been a while, hasn't it?" Yeah. Um. Yeah. How How are you? Oh, what I'm. What have you been doing? Just fine. It's, uh, I wish I was getting out and doing more, but you know, just <sighs> trying to find things to do at my age and. It's just sometimes a little boring at home, you know. You could always come visit your grandmother, you know. I'd love that. I would. She's like, oh, I also have a present for you. And she goes uh, and she picks up a, a small, small box, like the size of like what it would appear to be like a jewelry box. Mm -hmm. And uh, she says, now this belonged to me when I was your age. And Something tells me you're going to need this. It, it, it would, it, you'll get more use out of it than I will at this time. Uh, okay. Um, and she opens up the box. And it is a brass whistle with uh, oh. like forest, like uh, with like for like like with like like leaves and and like like the co different kanji on it, kind of like that, like are reminiscent of like forest leaves, trees, that kind of thing. Um, she looks shocked, like almost speechless. Um, and there's like a great deal of surprise in her eyes. She, immediately she doesn't know what to say. And then she looks at her mom and says, um, mom, do, do you think I could just catch up with grandma alone? It's, it's been a little while. Um. I haven't seen her in, in, in a long time, and I, I just think it'd be nice to talk alone. Oh, no problem. I have to go pick up your brother from Taekwondo practice anyways, so you guys have fun and catch up, and I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay. Thanks. And then when she leaves, mm -hmm. Nozomi looks at her grandma and says, Grandma... Why did you give me a whistle? And like she waits for the door to like close and then like the lock to turn. And she says, you know exactly why I gave you a whistle. Her voice completely changed. I know and can sense a tamer's strong spirit when I when they're around me. And Nozomi just she she takes the box she closes it and she brings it close to her chest and like kind of up to her heart and um she says this means so much thank you i have so many questions for you um do you want to meet him i was hoping you would never i was wondering if you'd ever ask of course i'd like to meet your partner please can i can i meet your partner Oh, Do you have a partner? Oh, well, let's 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 meet yours first and we can discuss. <laughs> oh, the and... GM's got to think of a name for that one. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um and she says, "Will will it will it work? Or do I have to use this one?" And she pulls out her pink whistle that hangs around her neck. Just believe in your partner. Blow the whistle, call forth their name, and no matter what it is, it will be. It it will. But no matter what it what instrument you are using, they will come to you. And she says, "Okay, it's beautiful, by the way. Thank you." And she blows into the whistle, and um, kind of in this um spiral of pink light, each ago begins to appear, and then as a bear cub, Ichigo stands uh, next to Nosomi, looking up at her, kind of almost like a dog would sit on the ground looking up at their um, owner. Yeah. It should be noticed that while you were blowing the whistle, 
There were like in the house, there are different like assorted types of like flowers and different house plants. Uh, the ones that weren't fake, when you blew the whistle, they began to perk up a bit, and not necessarily like grow, but like you can tell like it, it like the 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 uh, flora in the household began to re have a reaction to the uh, to you blowing that whistle. Mm-hmm. Um. Ichigo appears and she looks at her grandmother and says, this is Ichigo. And she's like, oh, now this is a strong one indeed. And she goes and like goes like to scratch underneath his chin. And it's like, have you been taking good care of my granddaughter? Like one little foot is stomping like. (laughs) (laughs) There it is. He's been taking really good care of me. Um, We're we're good partners. I I wish you could have seen. I would hope so. Ichigo was a great partner to me in my time as well. Wait. And, um, she, like, takes a step back. But you know, you know Ichigo? But of course. Who do you think taught him to fight? I just kind of thought he knew. Oh my gosh, my grandma knows my partner. I must Graham say, Graham is a badass. Yeah, I must say you. We should have brought her to hell too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I must say you two have quite a bond. Un- I can just tell from 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 pending him again and being in his presence. This bond that you two share is is much more powerful than the ones that we had. Oh, I, I'm I'm sure you just you're just saying that. Um, but thank you. Um. He's he's great. He's super strong, and oh my gosh! And we can turn into armor together. He like makes me, it's it's so cool, Grandma. Um, y- you have to you have to see at some point. Um, but he he can also get really big and fight. Um, and and she just starts kind of going on and on about all of the different adventures that she and Ichigo have had together. She kind of perks up at the first mention, and she's like, mm. "You were able to complete a full merger with him. I was never able to do that." Oh, oh, yeah, it's, um, it just kind of happened one time, and then, well, it kind of threw us apart after that for a bit, but, um, we figured it out. She kind of, like, pats Ichigo's head again. I knew that you would look after our family. I'm so proud to see you again, Ichigo. Mm, He gives a little head shake. Yeah, you can tell Um, that he definitely recognizes her. Like, but it's it's been a while, so like I guess at first he he probably like recognized the scent, but was a little hesitant. But now that he knows who she is, she he's definitely going and cuddling up to her as well, and kind of giving like the equivalent of like a bear purr, I guess. Yeah. Like a chuff, like yeah. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Cool. He went um, on her slipper, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Nozomi's also kind of curious to know. Or not necessarily know, but like curious to share all of the things that she learned about like influencing nature as well. And so she'll bring that into the conversation, talk about the fact that she can turn into a bunch of wasps and like talk about the fact that like she can control some plants sometimes. And um, she'll ask her grandmother if she can also do those things. Um, Well. I was always, I, my skills were always just in summoning and fighting alongside Ichigo. I never had the ability to control plants or change into wasps, which that is something I'd like to see as well. But, um, you have done so much in your adventures already, Nozomi. I couldn't be more proud of you. And the best thing about it is that there is a whole lifetime of adventures waiting ahead of you. Just make sure that you take the time to that you take the time to appreciate the ones that you have these adventures with, whether it be Ichigo or someone to have by your side. Your grandfather was uh, was uh, started as a companion to me in our adventures, and it ended up blossoming into the best relationship I'd ever had. Gra- Grandpa was was also a, a hunter. I- well, he wasn't necessarily inducted into those hunters, but 
he did have abilities. I, uh, our family is drawn to those with, uh, isn't drawn to just any old, any old hussy, uh, uh, any old uh, busybody. I don't know why I said hussy. <laughs> <laughs> you hussies. You hussy. We're not drawn to any old hussies. <laughs> <laughs> Our Your family was line. not one of those man hussies. <laughs> oh, he was a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> but oh no, our, our, we're uh, the the women in our family aren't attracted to any old busybody. Usually, it's it's men of great power who are who who we 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 go after, or those in great power. Well, there's this guy named Shotaro. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, well, like I said, you have a lifetime to figure that one out. Thank you, Grandma. This means a lot to me. Um, and it's good to see you. And she goes and pulls you in for a hug and says, like I said, I'm so proud of you. And I can't wait to hear about more of your adventures. But come, let, let, let's, 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 let's talk more about what's happened. And I'll share a few of my adventures as well. That sounds nice. And so the camera fades as uh, Nozomi and her grandma begin exchanging stories about it their times. It was this one time this hussy came right up to me. <laughs> and I got Ichigo bite his head off. No, 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 no. Um, the camera then pans over to Kokoro's house. When uh, Kokoro, you enter into the household, it's the same old thing. Is that you, Kokoro? Yeah, it's me. Well, Hiya. Welcome home. Come join us. We were just sitting down for some afternoon tea. Oh, okay. And when you come oh. in, you can see like uh, you see Auntie Junko, like kind of comes around. She's in her like she's in her apron. She's in her like 1950s like housewife dress. Um, Lucille Ball style haircut and like kind of twirling around and it's just like Kokoro welcome home as she like produces a plate with like tea and, and, and cookies on it Kokoro's gonna definitely snatch one of those cookies and, and get some tea poured in a little cup how was your day at school Auntie Mai asks really good it wasn't really all that bad I mean paid attention as much as I could, but uh, you know, last day and all that, not, nothing much to be done. She's, uh, Auntie Mai says, I can understand Wanti having trouble paying attention in class when you can literally level the building you're in with a wave of your hand. And uh, Auntie <laughs> Junko kind of slaps her on the hand and says, now, now, she needs to get a full education as well. She can't just be a fighter this whole time. I, uh, she needs to be, she needs to be as complete a person as she, as she can be. And uh, uh, Auntie Mai kind of like growls a little bit. Oh, that's true. That's true, I suppose. I mean, I've gotten f far enough with what I've got already. So, eh, yeah. And, uh, and Aunt, yeah. Auntie Junko says, now, tell us about this uh, this girl that you've been uh, walking around town with, spending time with. Ayaka, was it? Yeah, Ayaka Fujimori. Um, she's great. She's, uh, part of the kendo club, um, you know, and she was actually with us in the demon realm. They helped us defeat Congo. Um, that girl with the sword? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's her. Ooh, I liked her. And, uh, Auntie <laughs> Junko, like, hits her again. My, come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're actually whole class is going to the uh, beach tomorrow and um it's gonna be there too mm. i've i've kind of been having a little trouble i don't know asking her to spend more time with me i guess if that makes sense Trust me, it makes perfect sense. I would rather ride into battle with five de devil kings than have to go through the the troubles uh, the trouble of asking this one out all over again. 
<laughs> Sometimes fighting uh, fighting monsters is more preferable to putting yourself out there. And Auntie Junko then, instead of instead of like hitting her hand for a third time, goes and grabs it and holds it, and says, "Yes, it can be very scary, but I thank I think I think the Lord's every day that you've done it, or that you did it." And they kind of so that then Auntie Mai puts her hand on top of hers. They kind of look lovingly into each other's eyes. And uh, Mai says one more time, Kokoro, like I said before, you need to seize the moment while you can. And of course, if they say no, you can always bite their head off. Uh, well, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think that's <laughs> quite an option. I still got to go to school with her brother and stuff. Um... Kidding, kidding. I'm just kidding. As Auntie Mai shoots her like a dirty, or Auntie Junko shoots her a dirty look, but then Mai looks at you and gives you a sly wink. Yeah, uh, I just don't want to, you know, mess it up. It, I, you know, if she does say no, then I, you know, is she gonna keep being my friend, or is that, I don't know, is that just it? You've done and accomplished so much in your time already on this world. You deserve to be, you deserve to find happiness outside of the battlefield as well. Put yourself out there, Kokoro. You may be surprised at what you find. Are you sure there isn't an easier way? Like, I don't know. Fighting together on the battlefield i don't know oh god why is this so hard the heart is a mystery we will never truly know all of its secrets and how it works i guess so thanks aunties our pleasure now get upstairs to do your homework before we have to uh because we uh auntie uh your auntie and i Need some alone time. Fine. Take care, lovebirds. And she's gonna <laughs> snatch like another cookie, put it in her mouth, and go upstairs. Yeah, you hear like a low growl from <laughs> Auntie Mai as you uh, as you walk upstairs, and the scene kind of fades to black after that. I was getting huge, like Metal Gear Solid. Otacon, do you believe love can bloom on the battlefield? <laughs> 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 Oh, God. Amazing. Uh, Colonel. <laughs> this is metal Gear. The scene then, uh, you see time kind of skip forward a little bit as the sun sets and nighttime, uh, nighttime, uh, the moon comes out. Let me uh, switch this a little bit. The moon come out. The moon comes out. So proud of the moon. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the brave moon. Um, See, that's a uh, it's a good omen for Kokoro. I believe it. Right? There it she is. She can do this. <laughs> <laughs> the camera then opens up on a boardroom meeting. And uh, they uh, you see a bunch of people sitting around a desk. They all stand up and they give each other bow bows and they say thank you very much uh for your time miss dekiro hi um we will adjourn for the night and k sister ryoko kind of sits at the head of the table uh stands up and bows to everybody and says yes you're all relieved um have a good night and we'll uh we'll see you again on monday and they all kind of leave uh when they leave you see uh you see ryoko turn around uh and gather up her papers go into her own office and uh she opens up the drawer and pulls uh pulls a bottle of whiskey out and begins pouring herself a glass um as uh, she does so the rigors she... of leading they've already fallen hard upon her <laughs> <laughs> three months feels like eight years <laughs> uh but as she does so she begins looking over like she begins uh, organizing the papers on her desk um she uh, uh, knocks something over, like she knocks over a stapler and she goes to like pick it up. And when she puts it back in its place, she sees right behind it, there's a picture of, of her, Kay, and Kay's brother, whose name I forgot. 
<laughs> Terrence. Terrence? <laughs> Terrence. Goes by Terry. Terry. So there's a picture of Kay, Ryoko, and Terry on the desk. And they're all much younger. They're all super happy. Uh, you can tell that they're all like uh, ex exact to be in a picture uh, in, 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 at this time. She kind of gives like a deep sigh and goes and turns around and uh, sits in her desk and has a sip of her drink. It's at this moment that we hear this wow, 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 wow. The papers in her, on her desk begin flying around rapidly. The uh, light bulbs in the room begin <laughs> exploding. <laughs> you see lightning pulse all over the room. Uh, and she goes and reaches into her desk and pulls out a gun. Uh, all of a sudden, this portal <laughs> opens. These hands come into the corners of each and start ripping it open until it's wider and wider. <laughs> and not knowing exactly where this is opening to, Kay flies in on this skateboard made of bone and metal and like kick flips his way into the office and leaves all these skid marks on the ground. Like... <laughs> And then, because now these doors are supposed to be more guarded, these two hulking demons step through the portal. They each have six arms, wearing leather jackets, and they cross their arms. All right. Yes. And Joe, you guard this side. Ted, you're going to guard the other side until we figure out. Wait. Ryoko? On it, boss. And they, like, kind of go take their positions. <laughs> Uh, Ryoko, like, has her gun leveled at this portal, and, like, she kind of, like, puts it down, and it's like, I don't believe it. Kay? Is that you? Cracks his knuckles. Yep. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Uh, I guess I was a little too accurate. <laughs> she, uh, she, like, kind of walks over to you and gives you a hug. And then as, as soon as the hug is over, she slaps you really hard across the face. Uh, I've been waiting for yeah, three ow. months. What are you, what the hell is wrong with you, Kay? I had no idea what happened. I thought I had lost you too. And she begins like, uh, she begins sobbing. Yeah. Um, a lot happened basically. Like, so we went to hell, we killed a demon king, you know, the usual and then they're like, hey, you're a badass. Do you want to be the new Demon King? And I'm like, hell yeah. So um, that's not uh, that, that's not the most uh, important thing, though, at the moment. Um, and uh, Kay looks back over his shoulder like, all right, guys, step aside for one second. Do the thing I showed you how to do. And yells back into the portal because he's been teaching Terry how to do sick kick flips. On it, bro. So Terry comes in <laughs> on a, a, a little bit of a, it's a similar skateboard, but not nearly as cool as K's. Comes in with a sick kick flip, nails it, and he kind of twirls around. And like, as he goes to pose afterwards, he loses his balance and then just falls flat on his face. Bah! So, not everything was as it seems. We saw on that tape that something happened. And when I went to hell, guess what little shit I found. And she, like, turns around and, like, she drops what, like, like she, like, she, her arms just drop, her jaw drops, and she's like, I, I can't believe Pours it. another wick, he picks it up, then drops it. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it is that terry and uh yeah terry without like you know he's fallen flat on his face without like pushing up he just levitates up Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, power move hey sis it's been a little bit hasn't it k just waits to see how hard he gets slapped <laughs> he like looks over to he looks over she goes in and just grabs Terry and just begins bawling. 
And she's like, I thought I've lost you. I thought I'd lost you forever. Oh my, oh my goodness. I can't believe it. It's really you, isn't it? Kay comes up and is like, group hug time. And like actually hugs all of them. It's like, yeah, the past few months, he's been catching me up on what's going on in, well, literal hell. And I've been telling him about what's going on here. I let him know about dad and everything that happened there. And uh, we figured it was time to come back and get the family back together. Terry kind of uh, comes out of the hug. He's like, yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't come back sooner. I was being a devil king and all has uh, has its responsibilities and whatnot but now that Kay and I kind of share in that responsibility I think we thought it would be best to find we thought it would be best to divide our time between both worlds yeah so you know I guess I can't help run the company damn um I'm going to have to be off doing, like, Devil King stuff, but I'll pop in from time to time to say hi and stuff. Ryoko just kind of looks at the at the two of you and is just like, I don't understand a word that you're saying. I, I'm just <laughs> so happy to see you guys, if I'm just being honest. Just knowing that yeah. you're all, that you're both alive and you're okay and that you're out there doing your own thing, it, it's enough for me. If you need me to run the company, that's that's fine. I, I Dad was grooming me to do this job as far as, far as I can yeah. remember. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're going to have to be fabulously wealthy and stuff. Um, I hate <laughs> dealing with money, so. Well, if you ever need anything when you're on this side, you know, feel free to give me a call. And just please keep in touch. I know that I don't know that my cell phone plan reaches all the way to a different dimension, but... You know, just just no, check no. in every now and then. Yeah, we will. Um, I'm I'm gonna see if I can't figure out how to make like phones work because I tell you, the music over there kind of blows. You'd think, oh hell, that's super metal, but no, it actually kind of sucks. So I gotta fix that. And Terry's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Have you ever heard ogre ogre opera? It's fantastic. Through the fire and the flames, bro. Or I'm gonna get you caught up. <laughs> fire and the flames. Okay, I can I can kind of I can see the appeal of right? that name. Yeah, no, it's I think that humans do it better than we do. <laughs> Even though they don't know anything. Uh, I'll I'll show you, dude. Listen. Spotify. <laughs> Spotify. A very wise person told me about this, and it's the greatest invention. Tell me more of this Spotify. Ryoko is just like... hears her ears <laughs> ring. <Yeah. laughs> this is like Ryoko just is like, oh, God. And she goes and uh, to back behind her desk and pours herself another drink. Yeah, um, and looks back over at the portal. Uh We'll we'll get that moved. It's probably not great to have that in like your office. Uh, you want I'll this portal move, boss? You tell me where you want to move, and I'll move it for you. No problem. What was his name? Banjo. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Kenjo. And Kenjo. Ted. I thought it was Banjo <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Banjo. <laughs> On it, boss. I got this portal. No problem. <laughs> Just literally picks it up and moves it like it's a mirror. <laughs> right over here. Over here. A little to the right, a little to the left. Uh, yeah, let's go. No, let's no, go that way, Ted. That way, Ted. That way, Ted. Lift with your legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, it's uh, they. They can rip people in half like super easy. It's great. Don't worry about it. She's just like, please, just don't ruin everything in the office, please. Yeah, go to the roof. We'll we'll start there. On it, boss. And they just like kind of like pull it shut, and they just like. Pick it up like a rug, and then just like move it out of the, uh, out of the, uh, out of the room and up to the roof. I suddenly feel like the old Looney Tunes cartoons with like Muggsy and like, yeah. you got it, boss. You got it, boss. <laughs> Shut up, Mimsy. 
<laughs> the camera then shifts once more as we move on to Saturday morning. Go, let's go, let's go. It's Saturday let's go, let's go. morning, and all of you, minus K, get a text message saying, Beach is a go. Meet us at Heart Town Sa uh, Central Square Station at 10 a.m. <laughs> all right. Uh, does anyone go? <laughs> yes. I'm going. All right. I'm, I'm going. Oh, uh, no, I fell asleep. <laughs> Everyone's still slept sleeping. all night. Like, uh, uh, yeah. We're just going to skip it. <laughs> so the the lot of you begin uh, making your way towards Heart Town Central Square. K, your senses detect a large gathering of spiritual energy at the station as well. What do you do? Mm, okay. I don't think anyone knows I'm back yet. So I'm going to basically quote unquote sneak my way there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna observe to see what's happening. Like I'll have a little bush that is like I got it. Just to see what's going on. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Why is that bush on the train with us? Shh. <laughs> all right yeah so uh the rest of you when you make your way to uh the station you see goro sitting there like waving he's wearing a tank top he's wearing american flag uh boxer uh, like our <laughs> swim trunks he's already changed into um and he's just like yo everybody over here oh hi um kokoro is not in her um beachwear quite yet but it is in her backpack yeah i imagine yeah. so no Somi waves and uh she she's wearing something casual um and she looks excited she's wearing way too much sunscreen yeah goro has like the, the white sunscreen nose like oh when he's waving mm -hmm. everybody down nice. mm -hmm. um, yeah you see arnold show up uh, and also I should say like standing next to Goro when he's waving is the class president Yuzu standing there in it's not her school uniform but it's a uh, uh, clothing that's just as formal as it's so, like uh, it's just still like a button down <laughs> shirt and uh, like you know like a, a like a past her knees skirt and everything wearing like she, like uh, dress shoes is ready whatnot. for a job interview pretty much right <laughs> um, she kind of gives like a, a smile and a wave um, and Shotaro kind of uh, like rushes over. He's like, ah, I'm sorry, I'm not late, am I? Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. I think you're you're right on time. Yeah, we're all here now. Well, most of us. And then all of a sudden, uh, Kokoro hands cover your eyes, and <laughs> she's just like, I found you. And Ayaka <laughs> is right behind you. Uh, oh hey, hi Ayaka. I was wondering when you're gonna get here. Yeah, well, my brother was a little excited about the trip this morning, so he decided to make his way on over here before everyone else. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Your girl was like, "All right, everybody, everybody's here. Roll call." D -d 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 List off all the names. All right, to the beach <laughs> we go. I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> they all boop your little like computer commuter passes into the station. You make your way out of the city uh, and onto the beach. Now this beach is quite. It's not like super popular. What's up, Nozomi? As we're on the train, um, Nozomi will kind of walk over to Kokoro and and just talk about something like super small talky, like oh. How was your night last night? Uh, it oh, was yeah. good. I um. Oh, sorry. I sorry. I just said show today. My bad. Oh, to Kokoro. Yeah. My bad. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> that was good. You know, uh, my aunties had some tea waiting for me and some cookies, so that was pretty cool. That made me do my homework, which was like, bleh, but uh, whatever. Uh, how was your How was your day? Oh, it was good. And then 
when the train like goes over one of those little like bumps <laughs> in <laughs> the <laughs> track, um, Nozomi kind of fakes falling into Kokoro just a little bit and intentionally pushes her toward Ayaka. And it's just, oh, I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Um, are you, and I'm just going to go yeah. over there now. Um, hmm. Thanks. Uh, uh, <laughs> hi. She's, uh, Ayaka's like, oh, hey. Um, she goes and grabs your hand to hold it. <clears throat> and like for that one second she's holding your hand, it feels like an eternity. And then she lifts she lifts your hand up and she like puts it onto one of the little like handrails <laughs> things to hold on to. <laughs> and she's like, these uh, things uh, help with balance whenever we go over those bumps. Oh, silly me, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, I should have held on to those. However, thing. her hand still lingers there for just a little bit before maybe like, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds later, it comes off and she gives you a smile as she pulls her hand off of, off of yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh so um you, you you like you like the beach um sand and uh, and water <laughs> i do it's like horse and rough <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it gets <no>. everywhere <laughs> no <laughs> um oh, yes yeah, she says yeah I, I do like the beach i have to admit um uh it's kind of embarrassing to say so i mean i, I get I mean, Goro is definitely way more vocal about his excitement, but I think I love the beach just as much as him, if not more so. Yeah, <laughs> cool. I, I I like swimming in the water. It's I, the water's fun. I never would have guessed. She kind of winks. <laughs> yeah, it's it, my my family loves the swimming thing. They're really good at it. <laughs> If I'm going to swim, I do it in the water. Yeah. <laughs> and I think uh, I think Kay is going to have to take like 15 cringe damage watching all of this unfold. <laughs> I'm, just yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, armor doesn't stop that one. Yeah, uh, it <laughs> penetrates uh, force fields. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. I, I, I'm excited to, to to see you at the beach, and everyone at the beach too. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Mm. Uh, you see, like uh, uh, Yuzu kind of like butts her way in between both of you, and he's like, "It's gonna be great. I have this full itinerary planned of what we're what we're gonna do on the beach." <laughs> she like pulls out a paper schedule. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, Yuzu. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> I hope you're able to stick to it. Nozomi walks away. <laughs> Nozomi. Oh. Oof, failed. <laughs> oh. And she says, and and then she like kind of turns like she's she like kind of like walks away from you two like on the train. Uh, she turns around. I'm also excited to see everyone on the beach too, and like you can tell that she's like kind of nervous to say so. She's trying to come out of her shell a little bit. Oh, adorable! Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be real fun. All right. <laughs> Awkward silence. Awkward silence. <laughs> The uh, rest of the train ride is is pretty pretty easy going. <laughs> like lots lots of bumps, lots of uh, stops in between there. Eventually, you make your way to uh, to the beach, and when you get out there, when you walk out onto the onto the the out of the station, there's a little spot where you can buy like snacks and and, and like a little grocery store and everything. Everyone goes in, buys a couple of things to get. Goro has his little like mini grill like attached to his backpack and everything, so he can he can start making something uh, like grilling stuff on the beach and whatnot. Um, 
And uh, as you guys make your way out there, it, it's quite a popular beach, not like super, super packed. But maybe besides you, there's probably like 10 or 15 other groups of people. Um, and so like there's definitely like a part of the beach that you can have to yourself and you don't have to worry about like other people coming in to bother you. You have plenty of space to kind of do what you want to do um, with you and your friends. Cool. Um, so I think Kokoro has definitely gotten some snacks from the uh, from the store. Uh, and then she's going to head directly into the, uh, the changing room so that she can uh, get her gear on. All right. Yeah, there are definitely like the uh, like the changing rooms over there. Um, but yeah, like we all saw we all saw um, we all saw Goro wearing his American flag uh, swim trunks and everything, and his tank top with his little white nose. But like when he gets to the beach, he like he like he, he takes off his tank top, and you can see that he's actually quite ripped for like this young like young little high school boy. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Yes. I can't be a superhero if I don't have the body of a god. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're right. Talk about you cringe, can't. Right? <laughs> uh, with that, uh, so, so as oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say, so, can we know, have? As you guys... God damn it. Okay, K, go ahead, go ahead. K, K, K. No, 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 no. All right. No, it's fine. Okay. So, I was just going to ask, uh, uh, as everyone changes, can you describe what your beach attire looks like? Uh, yeah. Nozomi is wearing a... Um, she's wearing a two-piece. It's like a... A... I feel like it's a light pink. Um, and it has like little frills on the waist. Um, and just like a standard top. Yeah. And she's wearing a, um, she's wearing a, like a floppy hat, but not like a straw one, mm -hmm. like a kind of a bucket hat. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Adorable. Kokoro? <laughs> Kokoro leaves the changing room clad in a full body wetsuit um yes. insulated from head to toe protected from the frigid waters Amazing. <laughs> i love it so much cold blooded cold hey. blooded hey ocean's cold so the ocean is quite cold uh when you see ayaka come out she's wearing a two piece as well and it's got a, uh, it's kind of like a lime green uh, swimsuit with a kind of like a hexagonal pattern all over the entire time. So it mimics the looks of crocodile scales. Hey, hey, nice, uh, a nice bathing suit. It's cool. Yeah, I had some inspiration for it. I hope I was hoping you'd like it. Uh, I'm sorry. I've, yeah, I've, I've, yeah. I've, I've, okay. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna go see if my brother needs help setting anything up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, so um, Arnold like comes out of the uh, out out of the uh, out of the changing rooms, and he's just wearing uh, what appears to be like like black trunks with like a little like white like white stripes, uh, kind of patterned along there, and he just says, uh, well, "What do you uh, what do you what do you guys think? It's pretty cool, right?" <laughs> Yeah, it's vintage. <laughs> oh, wow, looking good. Yeah, nice. Yeah, cool. I like uh, I like the wetsuit, bro. Really cool. <laughs> Thanks. It's uh, it, it does it the job, you know. This is half Where the people I went Arnold to high school with. All my life. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, bro. Really wicked cool. Um, and then uh, Shotaro steps out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. He's wearing a speedo, full like red speedo, and he's just like, uh, "I'm sorry, I uh didn't get the uh." Oh god, this is kind of old fashioned, isn't it? Sure, but that that's okay. Um, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, you can see that he's he's definitely had like a a change in character. He's he's looking like in really good shape. 
<laughs> and uh, his hair combed and everything. He's looking quite nice. He's like, oh god, I feel so embarrassed. No, 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 no. Don't don't feel embarrassed. You're fine. It you look you look good. Oh, um Nozomi's like, damn. By the way, <laughs> I want <laughs> right. By the way, um, I I I got this in the store, um, because I, I, I thought you might like it. He like pulls out a bag, like a, a Ziploc bag, and like there's it's a Ziploc bag full of ice that's beginning to melt, and like uh, nestled uh, within the ice is a little cup of ice cream. And he's just like, I thought you might like this, uh, Nozomi. Oh, yeah, thank you. That's really sweet. I I appreciate that. Um, it's like I, I didn't get you anything, but uh, maybe we can go after. Is, yeah. that, is that still okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just figured you might want something, you know, at the beginning of the day. And I don't know, like, I don't, he's like, I gotta be honest. I don't really trust Goro's cooking. So this might be something to, uh, you get something in you beforehand. I, uh, I don't blame that. I don't, I don't, I don't blame you. Um, thank you. This is really sweet. And she'll kind of lean in for an awkward hug. That's like not a full hug, but it's like, uh, yeah, and then she'll hug him actually. And with uh with literally nothing left to the imagination in this uh in this swimsuit that he's wearing, you can see his entire body <laughs> just like fill up like a like an old school thermometer which is being red. <laughs> uh oh, not enough sunscreen. Okay, thanks. Sunscreen. Uh I'll see you on, uh, on the beach. And he kind of like awkwardly cool. walks away. Thanks. Um Arnold <laughs> kind of uh walks up behind behind you and he says so some guys are completely clueless, right? <laughs> I, I guess so. Um, <laughs> it kills me. Hey, but you got your ice cream. She he, <laughs> not yeah, just knows on me. Yeah, he got me ice cream. That's really sweet. Also, and she looks at Kokoro. She's she just goes, wow. <laughs> just, just you. <laughs> <laughs> you can see like you can hear like people whistling at Arnold or like not you can hear people whistling at Shotaro as he walks by and he just gets super embarrassed again like <laughs> this poor guy <laughs> that's what my mom got me you made a choice <laughs> you know very bold okay. choice um so yeah the, uh like uh Goro like throws down his little like uh makeshift grill like throws a little bit of coal on there, and he's like, "Ah, damn! I forgot a lighter. Uh, does any can anybody help me out with fire here?" Uh, <laughs> um, hold on a second. Um, just so gonna... while he's throwing down his barbecue <laughs> and setting up out on the beach, not quite at the water, there's this surfboard sticking up. And sitting next to it is someone in full leather jacket attire on the beach, even though it's like burning hot outside. Oh no! <laughs> and people who can actually see it, his hair is still up and blowing in the trademark like teal fire, and little hints of horn from around back are showing. And he seems to just be staring off at the water. Yeah, you guys can see this, by the way. Yes. Hey, is is, is... God. I think it is. <laughs> I, I think it's him. Um, ex excuse us. We'll we'll be right back. Arnold's like, yeah, no problem. Catch you out. Catch you out by the grill, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I can't get over Arnold's voice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cha, cha bra. Cha, bra. Cha. cha. Oh, cha, bra. bra. Oh, God. You guys spent this all this time teaching me Japanese. I didn't even think to teach you English, bra. That's that's wicked cool, man. Cha. <laughs> if she runs off to a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you guys are going to head off too. As you guys approach, you can you 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 feel a very familiar spiritual presence as you get closer and closer to this enigmatic figure who is sitting by a surfboard on the beach in a leather fucking jacket and combat boots, <laughs> I imagine. Oh hell yeah. But they aren't laced up, of course. Of course. Of course. Uh, 
He's 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 chill. He's relaxing. Right. Yeah. Right. Back. As you guys come up, obviously he can feel you guys as well. And Kay says, "You know, I miss seeing the ocean. The only thing in that hellscape is oceans of blood. So this is this is pretty nice." And he stands up and dusts off his leather and turns around. But not as nice as seeing you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you asshole. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a big hug. Absolutely. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I like the new look. Gestures oh. to the like full body <laughs> suit. <laughs> Thank you. It was more so a choice of function rather than style. <laughs> so, your majesty, <laughs> how's it... How's it been? <laughs> he mimics taking off a crown and putting it back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You no. Know, that asshole Congo made a horrible mess of the place, so... I'm gonna guess you guys actually had more fun at fucking school than I did cleaning up the mess that he left behind. But, hey, it's getting there, and it's gonna be gnarly as fuck. <laughs> well, I can't wait to visit. Yeah, so I'm, I'm opening up some portals again, and we're gonna get... We're gonna be very careful about who we let through, but... I figure it's time we uh, start merging the worlds a little bit. I like uh, that. I heard that Crane told us that he, the portals were going to be open again and there might be some free flow movement. You son of a bitch, you ruined my surprise. <laughs> I know, I'll I have know. to go fight him. <laughs> <laughs> we had a feeling we were going to see you soon, and I'm glad. I was trying to look all cool, but I will find him before you. I go back. Cool already. Like, it's really hard to max out the cool with you. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what's even cooler? Um, That weird bag of ice and ice cream that you're holding. Well, <laughs> and Nozomi <laughs> says this and she pushes him into the water oh yes <laughs> yes okay <laughs> yes. tumbles into the ocean full leather jacket and jeans uh you can hear like uh, all of a sudden like uh everybody that you were like with comes over and uh like rushes over and goro is like no zomi you can't just be like pushing random dudes into the ocean that's no big and they all like kind of pause as Kay like, uh, as they notice who it was that was pushed into the water. No, that was rad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and Nozomi will he like just grab so his gay. hand, <laughs> you help see, him up. Yeah. You see Ayaka go like, Kay? Shotaro was like, is that you, Kay? And then you hear uh, Arnold, yeah. Kay? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that the Californians episode. Yeah. Trey? 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 <laughs> Trey? The Californians. <laughs> no, Arnold? Is that you? Yeah, you take the 405 up to the 10. And <laughs> to the 5, to the 12. <laughs> I'm clearly speaking in English because it's like, yeah, gnarly, bro. Yeah, whoa, it's, this is crazy. Whoa, Arnold, bro. Dude, uh, man, the, uh, Nozomi and Nozomi and Kokoro told me that you transferred out, man. That's wicked. That's cool, bro. You came back to, you came back to Heart Town for our beach day, bro. That's wild. Yeah, yeah. I, I found out about it, and I couldn't help but crash the party. <laughs> for like a small like second, like it gets quiet as Yuzu, the class president, little line forms, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, is." Is it really you? Uh, so one thing is, did you describe the swimsuit that she had? Because oh. I heard there was going to be something special happening. N no, <laughs> I did not describe the swimsuit that she had. Okay, so she is wearing a one piece. 
and it is white with little like glasses patterns all over it. Of course. That's cute. That's real cute. I was half expecting literally just the school swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like this is the one they use at like gym. Bust out the, so, the big it's, guns. It's got all these glasses over it and as the like C parts and she's there, K like goes. <laughs> And all of a sudden, like, you, you see the little thing, like, it's just like she got hit by, like, an air gun with her hair just, like, blows in the wind when it happens. <laughs> there it is. Thank you. There Thank is. you, partner. I've got, I got the length. <laughs> She's like, um, she, like, goes in closer. And for the second time in two days, Kay gets slapped by a girl he left. <laughs> he stood up. Bah! You were supposed to go on a date, jerk. Yeah, I, um, they, I, I point over at Kokoro and those, I mean, they, they told you that I, I, things were happening and I had to leave real quick, right? They, they told you that, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we, we, uh, um, shit. <laughs> um, sorry, it was, uh, it was a family emergency and, um, my phone broke. And, um, shit. like, as an aside to himself, he's, like, been, been cleaning up hell, still can't talk to people. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a different time zone and all that, you know. <laughs> it's uh, it's messy. She just yeah, kind of, um, she's like, she kind of turns around in, like, a huffy motion. And she says, you're as incorrigible as ever. But then she begins blushing in her cheeks. And she's like, though, if you wanted to reschedule our date, I wouldn't be opposed to it. So she turns around and Kay leans over to his two best friends like, and is incorrigible a good thing? Or a bad thing? <laughs> um, <laughs> I think you want to focus on the part where she said reschedule the date. Yeah. yeah okay, I, cool. I, all right. I don't even know what that word means. So, yeah, I would say that too. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, Kay slicks his hair back, which <laughs> it's like... It has two realities going on. One is like up, the other is like down. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know. And he he looks at a non-existent watch, and then looks over her, and one eyebrow goes up. I'm free right now. And she like kind of turns around and says, "Looks like I am too." And she runs and jumps in uh, into a hug and, and wraps her arms around you. Heck yes, nailed it. <laughs> And as she jumps, her schedule like falls to the ground. Yep. <laughs> so the uh, then we're gonna do a little bit of uh, we're gonna do a little bit of screenshots here. So the rest of the day like passes by. Uh, everyone gets one screenshot uh, uh, with with their character. So what what are they? Oh God! <laughs> I can add them. <laughs> 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 Love that beach background. The ocean background is killing me. Cool. Good. Um, okay, so yeah, so let's let, we'll go around in uh, in the same order we do our callouts. And so Nozomi, what is the one screenshot you want of your character at the beach? Uh, I think Nozomi is she's sitting on a towel mm -hmm. with her bucket hat on, um, and she's holding the cup of ice cream that Shotaro brought her. Um, and she's holding the spoon in the other hand. And she's just kind of looking over and talking to Shotaro, who's also sitting on a towel. Um, and I think that's, I think that's it. Yeah. That's that snapshot. Okay. Then let's yeah. go over to Parker. What oh, snapshot oh. do you want? So Kokoro uh, has made it in the water, and she's basically like like dolphin swimming. Um, surprisingly fast too. It's a, like twenty miles an hour underneath the water. Nice. That she's Woo. that she's able to, and the snapshot is her doing uh, a, 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 a emerging from the water uh, as as a dolphin would, let's say. Um, and strike in a cool pose before uh, dunking back in. 
And, and K. Maybe Ayaka was watching, I hope. <laughs> yeah, Ayaka's in the background, like, clapping. Uh, K, what is your snapshot? Okay, so Yuzu is usually, like, essentially the teacher of everything. So the snapshot is K's board is laying flat on the sand, and Yuzu is standing on top of it, and Kay's like holding her hands, basically teaching her how to stand on a surfboard so that she can go try it. I love it. There is a uh, a third snapshot of, or sorry, a fourth snapshot of Goro and uh, Arnold like playing like Nintendo with each other on the beach, and then like <laughs> a group snapshot of like Goro taking a selfie as everyone's gathered around the grill, um, eating the food that he made. He's like. When Goro looks away, K lights the grill on fire. It's like, Whoa. yeah, like you see, like a, you see, like a, an, like a, a snapshot immediately after that, where like everyone's like trying to put the fire out, like, uh, uh, like all like scared. <laughs> K's just like, and you see the reflection of the fire in his glasses. <laughs> oh God. The snapshots then all go away, and it reveals that it's sunset. Now it's uh it's sunset uh, like the sunset setting in and then um, you see off in the distance that people are shooting off fireworks and so we move now into our <clears throat> our final scenes with our characters we get one more scene each let's no move. I don't want them to go. <laughs> Let's start with we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go in reverse order this time. Let's start with K. Okay, so you know, basically K and Yuzu have watched the fireworks, and K's like, yeah, explosions, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, you know but, that fireworks were invented and blah 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 by blah 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 blah. <laughs> no, I did not know that. <laughs> Uh, but then Kay's like, uh, give me just one second. Because if this is going to be the final scene, I can't go out without seeing my two best friends. So as Kay gets up, he like leans over and like kisses her on the cheek just a little bit. And then like gets up and walks away really fast, like kind of awkwardly. She does a little anime like, ah, oh, and then just faints. As like her spirit's kind of leaving her body, <laughs> anime style. Yeah, so <laughs> Kay looks over and is like, Ooh, uh, I guess I used too much power on that one. Uh, I'll tone it down next time. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, he's, he's going to go off and he's going to find uh, Kokoro and Nozomi real quick. Yeah, I think um, oh. Nozomi, Nozomi was with... Uh, Probably spending time with Shotaro, and she'll see Kay approach, and she'll, um, hey, I uh, give me a moment, okay? I'll I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, no problem. And she walks over. Uh, sorry to pull you away from uh whatever whatever you got going on there. Uh, but uh, let's let's get Kokoro real quick. I just wanna say a couple things. Kokoro's definitely like hang out on the beach with Ayaka and sees <laughs> K and Nozomi approach and yeah and anyway. you'll still get your own individual scenes too Nozomi yeah. Kokoro just a heads up yeah, like, of course yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, I was hoping so because uh, I felt bad like going and pulling everyone away from their scenes <laughs> <that they're... laughs> oh no this is it's I think it's actually quite good I think this is a good a good way to do that shows them going back let's do it uh Kokoro is gonna be like uh, I'll, I'll see you in a, a few seconds, okay? Okay, sounds good. And she goes over to Kay and Ozomi. Hey, what's up? Uh, Looks over at her sitting on the towel. You just left like, you guys kiss yet? <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I haven't even asked her out yet. I've been in hell three months. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's... <laughs> In a school year, it's... Mm. What, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I punch Coker on the shoulder. I'm just hassling you, bro. I know. 
kind of missed it. So, real quick, like, you know, I don't expect that I'm going to be in the human world too often, you know? There's a lot of stuff to sort out, and while I don't like paperwork and that kind of stuff, it's something that's got to be done if, you know, any of the demons are ever going to be even trustworthy enough to come over here. So... I got to sort all that out and stuff, but basically what I wanted to say is, um, I know you guys still got like school and all, but how would you guys like to do summer vacation in hell? Just throwing it out there. Finally, he asks us. I was wondering when he was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> of yes. Course, dude. Yes. I'm going to. I'm gonna skate on the half pipes in hell. Like that's just a oh, thing dude. that's gonna happen. Dude, I've already started setting up the most gnarly hell half pipe ever. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know me so well. But I'm in. Like it didn't feel right to be there and not see you guys, so yeah. Yeah. And Kay like yeah. turns a little bit red, like Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I'm I'm glad you came back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Uh, like I said when we left, uh I don't really belong anywhere and even there it's kind of weird cuz like those other devil kings are kind of like nerds. Uh so it's weird. But I don't know. When I'm around you guys, everything's all good. Well, and, uh, go uh, ahead. Sorry. I, you know, I, I, I didn't think that I belonged either, but, you know, I, I think we've made a place for ourselves here. And, <laughs> I'm glad we stumbled into each other on the roof on orientation. Yeah, I Yeah. I I guess I I thought that I belonged somewhere. And you know, I I did with my parents, my brother. But you can belong more than one place and sometimes it can be a little better in some places than others. Yeah. Yeah, you're wrong. Well, when you come to visit, you guys can help me out because while I haven't sorted out the, all the details, I think with all my spiritual magic shit, I might be able to find a Johnny somewhere and bring her ass back for a rematch <laughs> don't give me hope like that but <laughs> if you do i think you guys can help another adventure hell yeah and k puts his hands out for two predator handshakes at the same time oh yes <laughs> 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 I think Kokoro, I think Kokoro's hand is going to like quickly transform into our croc form. Yes. Real quick for the for the predator <laughs> yeah. hand. Yeah. And um Hell Oh yeah. wait, one more thing. And she pulls out her new whistle and she says, Look at this. My grandma oh. gave it to me. And then hey. she blows the whistle and Ichigo appears. Um Ichigo Kay's back. Yes. And I absolutely <laughs> tackle that bear. Yeah. And like it does a little like playful like animal thing where like it goes to bite you, but not like maliciously, like just just, to, just like playfully, like ah, rah, 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 rah. Oh absolutely. I, I bite him back. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's a perfect place for the scene to shift away. 
So we see um, Nozomi, Kay, and Kokoro go back to their uh, respective places they were at. Their, their respective beach towels. Uh, we're going to go to Kokoro next. <laughs> Kokoro, you return to uh, sit down and talk with Ayaka. And she's like, hey, is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Just, um, he's got to do his thing back in the demon realm and stuff like that. So we were just saying goodbye. Uh, well, just for now. Uh, he's invited us to <laughs> come shred the half pipe <laughs> in, in hell. That's pretty cool. A half pipe in hell. Man, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Um, she takes a moment just looking at the, the water. Do you know why I love the water so much? Why is that? Because it reveals everything. You know? Put someone in the ocean and their true self kind of just emerges. They'll fight the waves or hide them. Be weightless. Revert back to their childhood. I've always felt so much more free in the water. Can I be can I be real with you for a second? Uh you can see like uh, Ayaka kinda look a little concerned. Uh yeah, of course. You can always you can always be real with me. Yeah. So, um, you're cool. Uh, I like you a lot. Um, and if there's two things I know in this world, it's that, uh, life is short and you're hot. Um, and I, I, her face I gets spend... super red. <laughs> I, I just want to spend more time with you and, um, I don't know. I'd be, I'd be really happy if you spent time with me in a sort of, um, it, um, in a in a in a date kind of way. Oh, we're the same little like thermometer temperature thing. She just becomes <laughs> super super red. Oh, um, I. You hear like a loud gulp. <clears throat> I <laughs> really like that, Kokoro. Can I um? Can I hug you? Absolutely. Please. He gives gives her a, a big hug, and like a, a, a gentle kiss on the temple. She then like uh, looks at you like while still in the embrace. And goes in for the full kiss. <laughs> the full kiss. And she sticks the landing. A girl finally did it. Woo! Yes. Uh, and you, all of a sudden, like, the moment is beautiful. Until Goro ruins it and says, oh, my God, how long? <laughs> do you know how long I've been waiting for this, sis? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Goro. How long have you been waiting there? <laughs> Off in the distance. Finally. <laughs> you see, like Ayaka, like just cover her face red, but she's smiling the entire way through it. <clears throat> I'm really glad I came to the beach. Yeah, I'm glad you came too. And she kind of rests her head on your shoulder as the camera moves over a couple of beach towels over to Nozomi and Shotaro. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, what are, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, you know, I recently started helping out my, my mom in her garden. Like, you know, she started planting, like, some, 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 just, like, she's got really good into, like, planting tomatoes and peppers and everything, and I've really, really got, you know, started to get a green thumb. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of trying to get better at that. That's really fun. I, I like that kind of stuff, too. Um, I mean, I, 
I mean, I'm, I mean, yeah, of course I like it. Um, but I, I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, do you want to go walk down by the sand or, or by the, by the, by the water? Uh, yeah, sure. That sounds, that sounds fun. Um, and so she'll stand up and kind of, is it like approaching evening or it's in the evening? Yeah. Like the sun is setting. Yeah. It's not dark yet, Yeah. but like the sun is setting. So she takes like a, like a, a shawl, like a wrap Mm -hmm. with her and she kind of closes, um, closes it around her body to keep herself warm. Um, as she's walking, she's just kind of engaging in small talk here and there. Um, and then she'll bring up. I really liked the fact that you brought me ice cream. I thought that was really nice. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. You know, ever since I got my abilities and I've been able to control them, I'm trying not to read people's minds unless I have permission or they, they allow me to do so. So uh, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be a little bit more empathetic instead of just taking information from people. So I'm hoping that was the the right thing to do. I I think that is definitely the right thing to do. I, I think you're doing a good job with it. Um, and I think you picked out my flavor pretty well. Um, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, strawberry. Strawberry. That's <laughs> aside out of Let's character. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Ichigo, it's Ichigo. It's Strawberry. Ichigo. Ichigo. Yeah. yeah. What can um, you do? <laughs> and she says, "Oh, I, I really, um, I really like strawberry too." But have you ever tried peppermint ice cream? Peppermint? No, I, I haven't. It's really good. We should, we should get it tonight when we go. Um, yeah. Speaking of, um, oh, what were you gonna say? If it's, it's. He kind of looks a little nervous. He's like, I know yesterday that we, I, again, <laughs> can't read. I don't want to read mine, so maybe I'm a little oblivious, but um, I would like to change my answer from yesterday. Uh, I would like to get ice cream, but maybe it could just be the two of us. Oh, um, yeah, I'd, I'd really prefer that, too. I'd, I'd like that a lot. Um, well... I mean, I know there's an ice cream shop just up the street from the beach if you wanted to even walk there right now. Um, I do. Can I go change? I'm feeling really, really weird in this swimsuit. <laughs> he, I, I, think that's, I think that's a good idea. Um, you look great, but might not be the best for an ice cream shop. Oh. Being uh, cold out here. <laughs> uh thank you yeah you look you look you look really good too okay i'll go change um and i'll be right back and he like zooms like you can tell that he's telekinetically improving his speed to like move move and get out of there <sighs> you can it's like um. the uh the fireworks keep exploding boom, boom, boom. was there anything else you wanted to say nozomi before we move into yeah not to um no, not not to Shotaro. Um, I think she just kind of, after he leaves, she smiles a little bit to herself and kind of looks at the ground and walks back toward the group, um, but along the water this time. Um, and then she spots Kokoro with Aika, um, tries to make eye contact with Kokoro and be like, <laughs> Um, and then sees K and maybe Yuzu. Um, and she's, she's still, just kind of taking in. Right yeah, up. she's still having an out of body <laughs> experience from getting kissed by K yeah. so suddenly. Yeah, it, she just kind of stands at the water and looks at the group um, and just smiles. You hear, uh, like Arnold just goes, Well, best beach day ever, bruh. Chabra. <laughs> Chabra. <laughs> and then gets tackled by Goro. Yeah. Come here, you little rascal. Da, da, da. Now it's... kiss. <laughs> now kiss. <laughs> it's at this moment that all all of a sudden, 
the ground beneath you all begins to tremble. And all of a sudden, the towels that you're on begin moving and getting and get pulled away from the away from the ocean. As hold on, let me let me get the right music for this. Oh, arms are already coming out. K immediately is ready. Uh, this big, like this, this sand begins like shifting on the ground, and it begins pulling out from everything. Everyone on the beach begins screaming as it's happening all over the place. <clears throat> and the um, the sand begins forming behind everybody, breaks the changing room that Shotaro was into, uh, like that, that, that he was like running to, as like this giant sand golem appears. <laughs> And this is a monster that everyone can see since it's made of pure sand. So the beach is going uh, insane. Uh, Kokoro, oh sorry, Ayaka looks at Kokoro. Shotaro lands on his feet, make, uh, makes eye contact with uh, with Nozomi. What does K do? Uh, I absolutely princess tuck Yuzu, just scooper. All right. <laughs> <laughs> And as you all get into fighting position, uh, like Ayaka pulls out her emerald blade, Shotaro begins levitating and pulling up, uh, pulling up like assorted like beach umbrellas and like weapons, like telekinetically like pulling them up into the air. What does your final fighting pose look like? Um, Kokoro is going to. <laughs> Um, transform her croco uh, her arms into the crocodile arms. She's finally getting the hang of a partial transformation, just like Auntie Mai. Yes, yes. I love it. Cool. Nozomi, what does um, your final pose look like? Nozomi, um, Nozomi calls Ichigo, who then transforms, and then the two of them merge, and you see Nozomi in her like long hair, bare armor, and she's holding her arm, one of her arms up against the sand golem, and there's like a civilian girl on the other side of her, and she's looking at the girl and giving her like a little smile, like, I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Nice. K, what is, uh, what, I'm sorry, Adam, what does Kay's final pose look like? So, still holding on to Yuzu, he kicks the ground and like Nicholas D. Wolfwood style, his board comes up from under the sand and one of his ghastly hands grabs it oh. and he looks down and says, let me show you where I've actually been. <laughs> and he holds her and there's, the wind blows in his hair as he's like majestically standing there. <laughs> cool. And as you all begin charging towards the Sam Golem, a bolt of lightning shoots out from behind you, strikes the Sam Golem in the arm, immediately turning it to glass, and then as it falls to the ground and shatters. As you all turn around, you see Goro pointing two fingers in the air, electricity sparkling off of his fingers, and says, yeah. Yes! I've finally done it! <laughs> Oh my god, he finally did it. Yes, he finally did it. <laughs> the sand golem reforms its arms and and Goro joins the fighting positions. As you all leap into battle, the final screenshot being a group photo of everybody going into battle. And that is where we're going to leave Heart Town Hunters. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yes. Each yes, episode, yes. best episode. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all so much for being in this amazing game. I had so much fun playing it. This finale was like perfect. I could not have asked for a better like wrap up to this series. Um, and as always, we're going to leave how we always have done. Uh, so before, my name is Mark. You can find me over the internet at twitch.tv slash Mark. 
You can find me on Twitter as well, Kansai Mark, and uh, on TikTok as well. So make sure you follow me on all those platforms. And uh, make sure that you stay followed to Manipod Studios for future content um, from me and from all of the great other game masters that we uh, that we play ga that play games on this channel. Um, and I'm going to wrap it up for me there. Let's move on over to Emma. Hey, thank you so much, Mark. This has been such a pleasure to be a part of. Um, I'm a little bit, a little bit foggy eyed. Um, yeah. So much fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely will miss this story. Um, maybe we'll come back to it someday. I don't know. Um, maybe. And, and if it happens, that would be amazing. Um, and if it doesn't, I think we left off on a wonderful note. Um, so thank you. But my name is Emma, Greatest Guardians Gaming Network. And we're taking a little bit of a break this week. Um, and we've just been a little bit slower lately, but we are doing a number of shows that you can check out. We've got Tales of the Witch Boy, which is Pathfinder 2nd Edition. We've got... Um, Quest for the Frozen Flame, also Pathfinder 2nd Edition, Outlaws of Alcan Star, Pathfinder 2nd Edition, and Signal of Screams, which is Starfinder. Yes. Um, yeah, so that's our uh, that's our that's our 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 Yes, that's us. Thank you so much. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, that's that's us, yeah. Move on over to Parker. Hi there. Uh, my name is Parker. Uh, I use they she fey pronouns. Uh, I have a website, parkerwallace.com. Uh, W-A-L-L-I-S is the last name. Uh, it's got examples of stuff that I've written, uh, compositions, um, uh, my voiceover reel. Uh, some, uh, it has a photo gallery as well. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, at Parker Wallace. Uh, if you want to hear my voice uh, in other projects, you can look up Starfind, uh, Starfound which is a Starfinder actual play podcast. I am also uh, in featured episodes of uh, the Table First podcast and Manipot Studios' uh, Book of Brethida. And uh, I will be collaborating with uh, some characters in the Will uh, we'll Save the podcast and Adam uh, doing a Starfinder uh, podcast recording. Woo! So um, I'll keep that posted mm -hmm. uh, on the Twitter. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Hell yeah. All right, let's move on and over I to Adam. Am Adam Damus, Devil King, and Galactic Manager of the Emergency Power Podcast. Woo. This is a homebrew Starfinder campaign that I run. It has Mark in it. It's fantastic. We're on season three and it's getting crazy. So jump in on that. You can find us at emergencypowerpodcast.com over on Twitter at emergencypwrpod. We even have a Discord. So scope us out on there. You can jump in and learn about all the cool stuff that's happening, fan theories, and also art. Don't miss it. You can also find art on Instagram at the underscore Ashen underscore arts, where you can find characters and all that kind of stuff from the many different things that I have done and are continuing to do. And finally, thank you so much, Mark, for running this. It has been fantastic. And to all you who are watching, your heart has just been hunted. Uh, hey! What a tagline. Check that out. <laughs> what a way to end the series. Perfect. Everybody, if you're watching us on Twitch, thank you so much for the support over these past few months. If you were watching on YouTube, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for future Manapot projects. Uh, but until we see you uh, next time, everybody have a great day, and uh, we'll catch up later. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Heart Town Hunters! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um.